Hi there, we're going to discuss within this short video about designing Azure SQL 8 server and their features and the deployment and the security, all of that stuff. We are going to deep dive about Azure SQL 8 server deployment. So let's first uh, begin with understanding about what exactly is your SQL Edge Server and then we will move for the designing. Azure SQL Edge is an optimized relational database engine that's gonna uh, help for IoT and IoT Edge deployments. And Azure SQL Edge is gonna provide capabilities to create high performance data storage and processing layer for IoT application and also its solutions. And these capabilities includes the streaming process and analyzing the relational and non-relational. When we talk about the non-relational, for example, here we could take about the JSON file or a graph or time series data, which can make it the right choice for a variety of different applications, which are, we call it as a modern IoT applications. Just to let you know that as your SQL Edge is built on latest version of your SQL Server database engine, which is a leader of the industry for in terms of providing the performance and security and even querying capabilities with the TSQL and a lot of other things as you know about the SQL. So all that can be almost can be uh, performed uh, with the help of SQL Edge, but this is dedicatedly designed for IoT devices or IoT applications. Azure SQL Edge is available basically in a two different editions, starting with Azure SQL Edge Developer Edition, which is used mostly for the developing the applications with a limited CPU power. If you could see here, four cores with the 32 GB of the memory. And when we move for the production, the applications, uh, we might be you know, utilizing the Azure SQL Edge, which is exactly the double the uh, performance of your developer edition uh, in this case the 8 core cpu with 64 gb of memory it can support so these are the two different editions are available one for the, the first one would be for the developing the applications and other one would be for the production suitable when it comes to the azure sql edge deployment models we could use the two different models uh, one would be the connecting deployment through your azure iot edge another one would be the disconnected deployment so when we talk about the connected deployment through azure iot as a edge scenario uh, where this method is available directly from your azure marketplace and you could use that deployment as a module for your iot edge uh, applications and when it comes to the disconnected deployment uh, it is actually available as the Azure SQL Edge container images, which can be pulled directly from your Docker Hub, or it can be even deployed through a standard Docker container, or on a Kubernetes cluster also can be uh, deployed. Just to remember that Microsoft Azure SQL Edge versus other SQL servers like SQL Server or SQL databases, uh, which are in a production, there are different purpose we are going to use. So Azure SQL Edge is optimized for your IoT use cases or the for the workload purpose. Whereas the SQL Server or Azure SQL is dedicated for your built-in mission critical or data management solutions or line of business application purpose. Whereas the Azure SQL Edge is only focuses on IoT and IoT deployments. If you ask how does Azure SQL Edge works, Azure SQL Edge is a containerized Linux application and this has a uh, startup memory with the 500 MB or lesser than that. And it's gonna allow you to you know, design and build some kind of applications that's gonna run for many of your IoT devices. So once you, you know design that, it can uh, capture continuous data streams in a real time. And also you could integrate uh, the data with other uh, data solution applications. And uh, if you could, you know, see here, this is a small diagram, which we are talking about as your uh, SQL Edge here. And within this, it can 
uh, stream and it can store within this database and it can process with the uh, optional business logics for a customer standard procedures or functions you could and you could analyze with the machine learning uh, all of that stuff but let's uh, try to understand a simple concept here that it's not just the important to capture continuous real-time streaming of this data um, even uh, for the increasing amount of the data it is because you're continuously capturing and continuously you're streaming the data it it gives you a lot of value for the inside information because it's an IoT device and IoT applications will you know real time monitor. So you might need to you know address some of the problems also during this uh, streaming process. So the streaming engine allows for the transformation for uh, windowed aggregation with a simple anomaly detection and classification of incoming data streams and that uh, other one would be the a time series storage engine that is going to allow storage of a time index data you know, for example you want to analyze this kind of you know, data and this can be aggregated and stored in a cloud for future analysis if you look at this new design which is popped in the screen this azure sql edge is going to interact with IoT devices at the same time it's gonna interact with other edge gateways and edge servers and these are uh, this is going to interact even with your on-premises or maybe an Azure cloud uh, servers uh, for SQL for intelligent cloud or maybe SQL servers for other applications so now you need to think about the security here when it comes to the security security is a definitely primary concern when you're deploying your IoT applications to the edge so because Azure SQL Edge is based on SQL Server technology one of the most secure database platforms available but it has some of the security features definitely that you must have to use uh, from the SQL Server Enterprise example the SQL uh, Enterprise Server has a lot of other features so the similar features you might have to utilize here also the same security policies and the practices that you might have to extend from cloud to edge deployments so if you are uh, knowing about the azure sql policies and the best practices the same thing can be applied here for azure edge deployments also uh, you could see here four pillars that we can talk about uh, one would be the platform and security system this is going to include your physical uh, docker ho docker hosted platform or the operating system on the host and the networking systems and connecting to your physical device and application clients all of that stuff comes under platform and system security which is a physical thing and coming back to the authentication and authorization uh, this is an a, a other thing that the identity management specific right the SQL authentication which refers to the authentication of a user when connecting to your Azure SQL edge using username and password and that's that's about the authentication and when we talk about authorization it actually refers to the permissions assigned to a user with with a database in the Azure SQL Edge. So, what kind of you know, permissions we have to give for what user that needs to be you know understand, and that way you could you know secure it at that layer also. Maybe if there is a developer, he needs some kind of an you know, access. We might have to you know think about authorization whether we want to give them as an authorized person to access the SQL database or not. We should you know think in that direction. And with the third pillar, database object security is nothing but the securable things. For example, the servers and the data database and the object the database contains so here uh, the three things we talked about the server database and the objects within the database so how you're gonna uh, secure it for example you could do it with the encryption uh, uh, enhanced security and also the data protection with the transparent data encryption TDE we call it uh, and this is going to enable the compliance with many security regulations and uh, you could use the always encrypted uh, option which is going to provide a separation between your users and also uh, I mean when I say users who owns that data and who manages it so that is in a two different uh, way one would be the who owns the data and who's going to manage it so you could you know use the always encryption uh, method also and when it comes to uh, 
last pillar which is application security which is nothing but the Azure SQL Edge security best practices which is going to include the right writing the secure client application definitely that is under application development side so you must have to or uh, write in a secure uh, secure client application uh, for the best practices to be followed when you're trying to develop the application so these are the security point of view let me put it here from a requirement point of view when we could use Azure SQL Edge as a really ideal solution uh, based on the requirement. So if you could see the connectivity limitation. So uh, here Azure SQL Edge is going to support solutions that's going to work with or without network connectivity. And that's where Azure has one of the capability. So connectivity limitations if you, you know, talk about. And uh, coming back to the slow and uh, intermittent uh, broadband connections, then Azure SQL Edge is going to provide a powerful local database. Uh, it it can uh, negate the needing to forward all the data to the cloud-based database, and which is going to eliminate the latency point of view. So it can. Uh, process then and there and you get that uh, information and also from the database security the data security and the privacy concerns as your SQL edge can be implemented with the RBAC that's a role-based access control can be applied from the Azure point of view and also a bag which stands for your attribute based access control and also you also have the encryption which we talked about the security section and also the data classification can be done so this is going to really helpful for securing control access to your iot applications and its data and coming back to the synchronization and connectivity to back-end systems that's it there's a requirement for your synchronization and connectivity to back-end uh, systems then azure sql edge is going to provides ease of exchanging data with other systems like Azure SQL Database, SQL Server, Azure Cosmo DB. So we did talk about this point also beginning of this lecture and coming back to the last bulletin point that is the familiarity. So we did talk about the SQL Edge is actually built on the Microsoft SQL Server. So you get the similar uh, concepts or the skills that can be utilized so that the coders or developers no need to you know learn additional skills definitely and uh, you can reuse their codes and their skills also because it's actually built on uh, existing Microsoft uh, SQL server that being said I would like to sign up for this short video I'll try to catch up with another designing questions on Microsoft Azure Thank you. If you really like this video, please do subscribe to my channel.